Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video I'm going to be covering Hitmonkey. He made his first appearance in Hitmonkey issue number one in April of 2010. He's a Japanese macaque that also occasionally goes by the name Hitman Monkey. Being an assassin that stands 2 feet 5 inches tall, weighs 31 pounds, and has hazel eyes and gray hair all over his body. Now Hitmonkey has no vast superhuman powers, but he does have all the naturally enhanced agility, speed, and senses of a monkey of his species. It is noted, however, that his enhanced coordination and intellect, which rivals that of a human, could be the result of a mutation. Hitmonkey also has very high level fighting and weapon skills, quite often taking advantage of his ability to hold guns with his feet as well as his hands. And the simple fact that he's a monkey works to his advantage, helping him leave very few witnesses after a hit due to the fact that most people think it's too ridiculous for a monkey to be the killer. Now, originally Hitmonkey lived in the mountains of Japan as part of a clan of other monkeys. One day others in his clan took in an injured fugitive human assassin and nursed him back to health using herbs and hot spring treatments. But Hitmonkey didn't like this idea because he knew that one day someone would come looking for him. Once this assassin became healthy again, he started to practice and rehone his skills using snowmen. Hitmonkey carefully watched and studied this assassin, learning most if not all of his moves. One day Hitmonkey got fed up and finally confronted other members of his clan about the continued presence of the assassin. This became violent and he was ultimately exiled from the clan. As he had set off into the woods, he noticed a group of soldiers that were looking for that assassin. But before he could get back to his clan to warn them, the soldiers had already attacked, killing the assassin and his clan as well. In a fit of rage, Hitmonkey picked up the assassin's weapons and killed the soldiers. Now with his clan gone, he made up his mind to set out into the world as a killer of killers, toting with him a large bag that had an assortment of weapons. He ended up looking for General Kato, who was the one who actually gave the order to take out the assassin. And during this mission, Hitmonkey ended up taking out anyone he came across that was associated with Kato. The general eventually picked up on the fact that a macaque monkey was actually searching to kill him. And as ridiculous as that sounded, he still took it seriously, hiring Bullseye to be his bodyguard. At this point, the ghost of the dead assassin that his clan took in started to guide him to the city where Kato most likely was. Hitmonkey then targeted Hideki Haishi, who was a politician that he learned had a part in this plot. Hit accidentally ended up shooting his innocent assistant, and he temporarily abandoned the mission, having an emotional setback. But after getting himself back together, he started again on his mission for Kato. Hitmonkey has gone on to have many different adventures, at times working for the Howling Commandos of S.H.I.E.L.D., and at other times using his martial arts skills against Spider-Man and Deadpool. But either way, Hitmonkey has shown that he knows how to do a lot more than just monkey around. Now, due to his abilities and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Hitmonkey a rating of 4, which is a rating of Journeyman. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to the new Sage.